What's up everyone and good morning to you all. I am your host, the late night president Todd Morris, here with you all this early morning, Friday, June 21st, 2019, as we welcome you to the start of an all new summer season of programming right here on the Prankville Network. We kick things off this morning by going back and revisiting what is now a deleted edition of last night's Haters Inc. Chat in which the topic of discussion towards the end of the broadcast seemed to shift more towards someone we are quite familiar with here on the program in Sensei Dion Schmo, a mixed martial arts and karate instructor here on YouTube who has recently found himself the target of the infamous Haters Inc. crew. Sensei Dion from Smalls Modern Arts. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some little techniques on uh, a lesson from Smalls Modern Arts and uh, just martial arts in general. Uh, guys, as a martial artist, your body, your body is your weapon. Your whole body, from your head, from your core, down your toes. It's, it's your weapon, you know. Your body is your weapon. From your mental to your physical, your, your whole body is your weapon. While it's become quite clear that not many in the Haters Inc. crew have anything in the way of love, support, or even respect to show for Dion Schmo, it appears that one amongst the Haters Inc. crew has sparked some sort of friendship with Dion. Of course, I'm talking about none other than the queen of hate, the New York boss, Miss Frost. Last night, a part of the hashtag Haters Inc. live chat, Frost goes out of her way to try and open up a possible door to allow Dion Smo to become a part of the Haters, Inc. crew. And it's bringing several major questions to mind this morning. First and foremost, will Dion Schmo forsake his longtime relationship and friendship with both Charles and Shelley Wolford for a spot on the Haters, Inc. roster? Or will the summer of 2019 prove indeed to be the summer of the Schmo? Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that our live chat room will be open for the entire length of this morning's broadcast, where you can feel free to express your thoughts, comments, and any suggestions. So here we are. Without any further ado, we now take you to last night's deleted edition of the Hashtag Haters Inc. live chat. It all starts right now, right here. On the President Todd Morris Anti Haters Chat. It might not, but 
Leon himself isn't a harmful person. So I think it's it's worth a try to at least, you know, clear some shit up so he knows not to continue to spread the rumor and apologize for that. To be a friend with Charles, like, that's his choice to be friends with Charles. Like, we can't change that. He's a grown man. He can decide who his friends are. Um, I don't think his friendship is going to be really beneficial to him in the long run so that's just something he's going to have to learn on his own that's the thing it's like but if the um felt like he turned his back on the war birds that need have his back for going after Charles. That might change the situation. I'm not always convinced of like moving somebody automatically to the enemy spot. Clear the air and then make them an ally and we become bigger become weaker. I told you I'm good. I'm gonna get it done. I I have so many goddamn things. I swear to God, it is on my agenda though. Irritated me with the three sides of the story thing. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, like you, I could show him enough evidence and proof it shows it's like your boy was lying the whole time. Like. Your back. You could call Charles out on this. We got your back on this. He want to join in with a click, and he might want. I don't. I don't know. Maybe he. It's cool to do that. What do you mean? Welcome in this chat. Welcome. In in this chat until he started with the three sides of the story thing. When he like violated Tracy and that's that's when I I can't let that clash. And to like fucking use him and just fucking sit there and fucking mock him and all that shit. He was he was was taking everything in kind of in stride and in good fun and everything was going good until that statement and that's kind of where it went sour. Yeah. He came in, he hung out, he laughed at people's jokes like if if he found a diss about him funny he would laugh at it like he had a better sense of humor and a better approach a lot of people. And I have to say, I do respect that on a certain level. I do respect that about him. But to be corrected about this situation so he doesn't perpetuate this fucking lie. like that that was the only thing and I, I feel like there's a possibility even if it's a fucking a, a coin toss of like he's going to believe it he's not going to believe it I think it's worth a 50-50 chance you know what I'm saying
Mr. Lincoln, we can get to a fucking, we can get to resolving this issue. I don't feel like this to be taken to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not unreasonable. That's what I'm saying. I I feel like this is something. Not, and he's not completely out there like Charlie either. He does listen. Take it. I mean, first thing we're going to have to argue about. There's a lot of things we're going to have to argue about. But he does listen. But he's he's kind of young for that to be happening. Yeah, he's kind of young for that to be happening. I think it's just like at out of high school, and I think you know he always wanted to do martial arts, and I think he's just he's pursuing that. I'm not sure if it about it the best way. I think he's just, like, throwing himself into following his dreams, so I can't even, like, hate on that. The drink I, I told him I was a bit concerned about. Kind of, like, the great part about having someone like Dion here, because... Yeah, he's a flat earther. So it's like we get to have these debates and that's why it's like I I don't feel like he would be a detriment to the chat as long as everything is like squashed between you and him and everything is like corrected. I don't feel like he would be a detriment to the chat if any he he's entertaining. He at least entertains me to a certain degree. I don't know. No, he is. Because he seems really devoted. Yeah, but think about the leader of the flat earth community. At one point he went to high school too. I said I told him I was concerned about his drinking and I and I told him I didn't mean it like offensively. I'm not trying to call anybody drunk or something or being like you're an alcoholic because who am I? I don't I don't know you. I don't know how often just might be feels comfortable in front of the camera. That might be it. That's like I, I don't know what the situation is and I don't want to make that assumption. I like to try to come correct with, with shit. And if I'm not definitive on something, I'm going to tell somebody, like, I don't know. I'm not just going to feed you some bullshit because, <laughs> like, that's, you know, people might do that shit or just run with their imagination. I am don't like doing that. I like to come correct. So I'm saying, I, I can't, not, if he's following his fucking dreams, if he loves martial arts that much and he wants to do that, like, 
who the fuck am I to hear? You know, I love doing music. I, I love doing rap music. I fucking love that shit. If he wants to sit there and work out in his backyard and practice his, his karate, his martial arts, fucking do him. Whatever makes you happy, bro. Nobody, I don't care what you're doing. Yes, uh, it, it's, it's harmful, but I don't think anyone's really citing him as the source. I don't think if you thought that if you think the earth is round right now. Watch the Dion Schmoes video. It's not going to change your mind. Not that level. Yeah, he can do martial arts. Yo, he's still young. He can do whatever he wants. What you were talking about with the steam thing, you were talking about some steam thing that went up and down. I'm, I'm not sure if you're talking about time zones or right. But once you hit the furthest part of this, you just you start coming back on the other side. addressing one of his videos though. So. I like to think you have to play that through in your head. You have to already have the predisposition that the earth is flat before you even have that theory because on be on the ice caps they beyond the ice caps wouldn't be coming back around for somebody else. I feel like he might just feel more comfortable after he has, like, a drink or two in him. Like, I, I don't know enough about it to speak on it. That's how you do. And you know the only reason why. That's the only reason why I think it's definitely in space. Yeah, I got you, Tracy. Positive. Is there a... Is a fear. 